Yo, what's up boys? It's Ojoys coming at you with another Valorant video and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to play Omen from noob to pro in 300 seconds. Let's get into it. So starting off we have our Yeet Hands, otherwise known as a short distance teleport, which gets you wherever you want to go except when it doesn't. Continuing along the hotbar, we have Paranoia, which temporarily blinds enemies and teammates that it goes through. Honestly, it's kind of good, but you have to peek with it, otherwise it's completely useless. And continuing along the hotbar, we have the Fat Vape. So honestly, you just press the button and then right click to extend the range. And then the same button that you pressed to decrease the range. And then you just hit the vape. But you want to be sure that you don't aim it too low into the ground because if you do, then you choke on the vape and the cloud is tiny. And Omen's final ability is his ultimate, teleport to any location on the map just by clicking on it. Sounds OP, it's really not. There's actually a delay after you spawn in and you can't use your weapons until that's over. You can also be shot during this time and it can be canceled if they shoot you while you're loading in. So starting off with ways to use the teleport, you wanna make sure that they can see you and then you wanna hide and then you want to teleport across the gap where you just peeked and then peek from the other side. Next up, you can teleport onto a box and then peek from the box. If you teleport past enemies, oftentimes they don't realize that you're teleporting because the sound is extremely quiet if they can hear it. Next up, we have what I call the Spooky Bee Strat. I'll let you figure out why it's called that on your own. So you double smoke wherever you want to go, and then you teleport directly into the middle of the double smoke. This keeps you shrouded from both sides of that middle part. Then, after your cooldown, you're safe to move. Next up, we have another ultimate tip. So, say you've been seen on B site, and you've just killed someone maybe, then if you teleport to the exact same spot, for some reason, everybody panics and they have no idea where you are and you can get a free pick that way. Next up, we have a little something I like to call smoke banditing, which is where you go into your smoke and you barely peek your head out to check to see if there's someone in your line of sight. Then you hide again and you can either shoot them while in the smoke or you can peek out again to make sure that they're still there. Next up, we have what I like to call the smoke drop, which is where you drop a smoke way, way above where they would be peeking, and then you peek out right when you know it's about to hit the ground. This gives you a temporary one way on them and is extremely useful sometimes. Next up, we've got a sort of debate using the teleport. So if you jump somewhere and then you teleport, you can continue to travel in your jump while you're teleporting. This allows you to do fakes out of, for example, heaven on a side of haven, like shown. And for our final trick, we obviously have the fake sight take. So you smoke off a sight, you take it, and then as the rotators are rotating towards you, you then teleport to another site and plant the spike. Honestly, nice classic move. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's video, and please, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. Anyhow, that's all for me today, boys. I'm out. Peace.